Hi guys, Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com coming to you today from the parking lot of my local Dollar Tree. I'm so excited to share with you all about Dollar Tree crafting. If you guys have been following my blog or my YouTube channel, you know that Dollar Star Crafts are totally my jam. I'm going to walk you through a Dollar Tree store today to share with you all of my favorite crafting essentials, what to buy and what to skip. Let's get shopping. For starters, let's talk about seasonal decor and crafting. The seasonal section is usually at the front of the store and it's filled with tons of fun items for crafting and entertaining. I filmed this video in mid-October, so there were a ton of fall and Halloween items as well as a few Christmas items out. You can usually find craft kits for the kids as well. My favorite items from the seasonal section are door hangers that you can repaint with chalk paint and miscellaneous seasonal items that I can use to make wreaths. There are usually also seasonal silk flowers, and this might be a bit controversial of a stance, but I rarely buy silk flowers at Dollar Tree for two reasons. First, I like more neutral colors, and most Dollar Tree flowers are bright colors. Two, with a few exceptions like uh, red Christmas berries, I'm not crazy over the quality of Dollar Tree silk flowers. I would rather pay a um, dollar or two more and get something that I love from Walmart or the craft store. Crafter pro tip here, wait until the end of the season and buy faux greenery at the craft store when it's marked down to 70% off. I keep a stash of things like boxwood and lamb's ear to craft with year round. Next up, the party supply aisle. Here I like to grab gift bags, especially the solid color gift bags that you can decorate yourself with rubber stamps, permanent markers, vinyl, or stickers. These are also great for having the kids decorate themselves with their own artwork when you're giving gifts to teachers or grandparents. Paper plates and silverware are great buys sometimes. I use them for parties when we invite school friends over. I'm just serving light snacks or finger foods. But if you're having a gathering with adults and a full meal is being served, I would probably go for better quality plates and utensils at the big box store. The office supply aisle is my favorite place to stock up on poster board and foam board. I use these for uh, solid backdrops when I'm photographing or filming crafts. They're also great for school projects. It will save you a ton of money versus shopping at the craft store or the office supply store when the kids have a presentation to prepare. The DIY aisle has been a complete lifesaver since we bought our house. My must-haves are felt pads for under furniture legs, twine and rope, paint trays, uh, throwaway foam brushes for stains or small paint projects, tarps, and crazy glue. What to skip? Do not buy the paint rollers, they are just too flimsy. Also, I do buy the masking tape for craft projects, but if you're taping off trim for um, like a home decor painting project, I would spend a little bit more money and get the blue or the green tape at your home improvement store. I also keep a few green three foot extension cords around. They're super handy for holiday lights, um, having when a charging cable that won't quite reach to the couch or for my hot glue gun that has a really short cord. The home decor and craft aisle has a wealth of supplies for crafters. First, I love their picture frames. They're great for DIY projects since they can be so easily changed to match your home decor using just a little bit of chalk paint or spray paint. Also, grab a few picture frame stands since the backers on dollar store frames are usually pretty flimsy. But seriously, where else can you get an 11 by 14 frame for a buck? Hello, gallery wall project. They've also got non-seasonal floral items, uh, which I discussed bef before. If you want to make a colorful floral project, stock up here. The Dollar Tree is my go-to place though to grab uh, wreath forms, rope, twine, and moss, as well as this fantastic burlap ribbon, which I use in tons of projects. We've got more wreath forms here, as well as little accessories. I thought these chalkboard labels were super cute. Let's talk foam. There's nowhere you can get craft foam cheaper than at the dollar store. These things would individually be several dollars each at any craft store, so this is definitely the place to stock up on foam. Floral wire cutters are also a great buy, as well as a variety of buckets, vases, and vase fillers. If the vases aren't quite your style, this is a great time to grab the spray primer and chalk paint. 
Now let's talk about the kids' crafting aisle. My seven-year-old twins love shopping at Dollar Tree for craft supplies. It's a great way to make their chore dollars stretch pretty far, but I also have a few go-to buys from that aisle as well. These little canvases are great for smaller painted projects, and I love their little white plastic paint trays. I usually skip the paint brushes and paint, and I buy better quality at the craft store, but I never miss their assortment of Velcro fasteners, small plastic containers, and bags for staying organized, as well as miscellaneous wooden items like wooden letters, um, little mini clothespins and numbers, along with craft sticks. The kitchen aisle is a great place to find inspiration. Their placemats are super cute. Pair one with a dollar store frame for some fun DIY wall decor. I actually did this a while back, so I'll link to that project for you all below. Wine glasses and other drinking glasses are fun craft blanks if you are a Cricut or Silhouette crafter. These glass jars are great for keeping all of your little craft supplies organized. Then let's talk about white mugs. Look at this huge coffee mug, you guys. Think about all the vinyl decals that you could put on that guy. Super fun. More kitchen supply items like pot holders and tea towels make great blanks for iron-on vinyl decals no matter what the time of year. I also like to craft with baking pans and serving trays. Give them a quick coat of spray primer and chalk paint possibilities are endless. I'll link to a few favorite projects below. But there you have it, a walk through my local Dollar Tree store and a quick rundown of my dollar store craft essentials. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, happy making.